Something that people often forget when working with anticholinergic medications is that they work quickly and they don't require a buildup or continuous administration, right? If you have somebody on the unit who has an acute dystonic reaction, you give them a milligram of benzotropine IM and the dystonia resolves, right? You don't need to keep taking it over and over again to resolve the dystonia. So one option that you could consider if you need to use an anticholinergic medication to treat antipsychotic-induced Parkinsonism is to simply use flexible dosing, right? Maybe give the person an as-needed dose, right? Say, here's a milligram of benzotropine. Should you have the symptoms, take it. Should you not have the symptoms, try to avoid taking it, right? Giving the patient sort of a PRN or as-needed option instead of taking the medication continuously. People often stay on these medications far longer than they need to, and it's important that we try to minimize the use of anticholinergics as much as possible.